Hi there, this is Guido Vrola and today I want to tell you a couple of things about what we can say is the most important rule of proportion in this world. I'm referring to the golden ratio, a proportion that is so common in nature together with symmetry that it's also called divine proportion or God ratio. Don't want to go too deep with the mathematics that are at the base of, the, of this proportion because if you are interested in it, you can find tons of books on this topic, but I think that this should be boring for the most of you. I just want you to show you the many reasons why you should take this into account in uh, your design or in your picture composition. So, let's say what is this ratio. This ratio is a number called phi that can be approximated to 1.618. This number has a lot of interesting properties, but the most important for us is that if we draw a segment along 1.618 called A and a segment B long one, the proportion between the segment A and the segment B is the same that we have uh, between the segment C and the segment A, where C is A plus B. And this ratio is equal to phi, that is 1.618. So here we can draw a segment D that is uh, C plus A and so on forever. This infinite sequence of lengths is called Fibonacci sequence by the name of his father, the Italian mathematician Leonardo Fibonacci. If you want to draw these two segments in proportion without using a calculator, this is pretty simple. All you have to do is to draw the first segment and construct a, a square on this segment. Then find the middle of the segment, point uh, your divider in the middle of this segment and trace a line. and you find the second segment that is in golden proportion with the first one. Okay, we can now stop talking from a mathematical point of view because what is important for us is to know that this proportion is everywhere in nature, in human anatomy, in good industrial design, in good compositions, it's everywhere. And I will show you some samples. Simply look at my hand, for example. Here uh, I have a golden ratio divider, a very useful tool that we can use while drawing. This side we have the major aperture, this side we have the minor one. Look at my finger. Look here. Look here. And this same proportion is also between the length of the hand and the length of the forearm, the same for the legs and for all our body. From the sole of the feet to the navel and from the navel to the top of the head, for example, we have golden ratio. In the face, this proportion is repeated many times. Uh, the width of the mouth with that of the nose, for example, but also the uh, distance between the chin and the mouth and that from the mouth to the nose. Not in every faces, but in uh, beautiful faces, uh, uh, this proportion exists. Exists also a mask created with all these geometrical proportions in mind that you can overlap to a picture and see that it fits to all the most beautiful faces, both male and female, 
and from dif different races also. Um, I know that many of you think that beauty is something subjective, but I must say that, in my opinion, beauty is far from being simply a subjective opinion. Beauty in nature, in design, in photography, responds to precise rules of proportion, symmetry, balances that are, are not subjective. Then we can focus our attention on different details that we find attractive and this, I think, is uh, what can make it uh, subjective. Anyway, here we have the Fibonacci spiral. This is created by dividing a rectangle into uh, smaller squares and rectangles using the golden ratio and then drawing a spiral to the corners of the squares. This is interesting because in most of the spirals in nature we find this same shape or that of this uh, uh, other golden spiral uh, that is created in a different way but still using the golden ratio. Like in Nautilus, for example, you can see it fits almost perfectly. But I can say many others, from the flowers to the leaf growing, to the shell of the snails, to the storms, to the galaxies. This is only a few examples, but you can find many more around you. So this proportion is unconsciously present in our brain and it is generally associated to what we consider beautiful. For this reason, I recommend you to take into account this every time you are creating something new. The rule of thirds, for example, uh, so commonly used in photography is a simplification and a an approximation of this ratio, but you can better figure in your mind this spiral and use it to compose your picture or even your illustrations or 3D renders. If you are a designer, keep one of these on your desk. Look at this car, for example. The golden ratio is continuously repeated in every single element of this car. Everywhere, everywhere. You can find this proportion everywhere in this car. And this is not the case if uh, this car is so sexy. So when you draw your uh, furniture or lamps, everything, you have to have in mind this proportion, use it, use it, use it, until it will be so familiar that you can figure it in your mind without the need of using instruments. Now I will show you a quick video where I draw a Fibonacci spiral freehand without using a ruler or a divider to show you how this proportion is settled in my mind. 